She turns her face away from the penetrating current and tall, slender shapes come into view. With each stride she takes, they become more visible as though a shadowy fog is lifted. Her breath catches at the sight of naked human trunks sprouting from a decaying earth that seems to breathe with the ebb and flow of the wind. Uh, I'm in. Branches sway and reach for her, beckoning her to come closer. You're in? She steps closer. Um, a, a forest? Okay, then. Now describe to me what this forest looks like, he probes. She swallows hard at the sharp pressure within and utters, I'm scared. I assure you, you are perfectly safe. Mary's eyes widen in disbelief of what she sees. They're they're awful. How awful? Please be more specific, Mary. The trees. What about the trees? They, They aren't trees. What do you mean? The, they're people, but twisted. Twisted? He asks in an almost absent-minded tone. Intermittent moans and grunts escape the forms as they bend and melt into each other. Their heavy breaths ride the errant wind and encase her in the memory of that night. His words echo within her like fiendish teases, carrying the trace of his touch over her skin. Her stomach tightens in reprised anger and a small amount of ashamed pleasure. Her muscles constrict as she bites her lip and holds her breath as the pressure within eases. Her heart drums a dizzying beat of desire and confusion, shame and guilt. You know you want to. I really should be getting home, she blushes. She reaches for her coat hanging in the rack next to his desk. He blocks her, cupping her hand in his, intertwining his fingers between hers and massaging her shoulder. His eyes pierce into her and heat flushes within her cheeks. Come on, Mary, have one drink with me, he beckons with a smile, to celebrate our big win. The burning in her cheeks move to breasts as she takes a deep breath and settles between her thighs with a small gulp. Oh, all right, Mr. Daniels, just, but just one. Excellent, he celebrates. He rushes to the mini bar and gathers two tumblers and a bottle. She sits back on the leather couch in his office. Mary has only been working for attorney Jacob Daniels a few months, but even in her interview, she knew how important this case was to him and the firm. She could never imagine quitting in the middle of it the way her predecessor did. Mary could never do something so unprofessional. How could someone just up and leave without notice like that? He hands her a crystal tumbler filled with two fingers of a caramel liquid and toasts, To the two of us, we make a great team. After tapping his glass to hers, he slams the drink down with a, Woo! She toasts back with a giggle and more blushing to us and sips the whiskey. It burns deep within her chest and forces up a small cough. (laughs) He laughs and he points out that she had done it all wrong. He pours himself another and says, like this, sweetheart, and shoots the drink down again. Wanting to impress, she mimics him, but with a forced smile and much more coughing. I'll make shooter out of you yet, Mrs. Montgomery, he says with a grin and pours her another. Oh no, I said just one. Yeah, that's true, but that was before I had to drink one more than you, he litigates. If we're on the same team, we're going to have to do things together. And with that, she relents to another. And eventually, another. Another.